Hello. Uh, today's update has got two halves. Um, the first is all about now, and the second all about after. I think this could be potentially the biggest opportunity since 2008. Um, and the second half is all about how to get ready for that, so stay tuned. Um, now in priority order, um, what we're dealing with this week. Um, the first priority has got to be collecting rent and keeping that stable. Uh, I can report that less than 3% of our tenants right now have had any problems uh, and all the problems are managed and I'll explain what that means in a minute. Uh, we've had many more inquiries but they've all been the what if type, you know, what if I lose my job and we've been very clear and laid out exactly um, what would happen and what could happen and what support's available. Um, perhaps we will see an increase but not at the moment and really importantly for us um, in the first week of April, um, a lot of rents are biased towards the end of the month or the beginning of the month and having passed both of those periods, gone over the month end, um, we're reasonably confident that um, you know, anything that would have come out, you know, we, we, we've tested it with a large volume of rent due and the process we've got seems to be working really well and the number of issues we've say, we, we, we're we seeing um, is a lot less than we'd expected um, or, or, or feared and we're coping with it. Um, if a tenant has got problems either now or in the future, we're having them complete a form um, de detailing the issue, you know, have they been furloughed, have they been made redundant, uh, are they in isolation, self-employed, whatever the issue is, we're detailing it and it's also got an income and expenditure check in there. We're requiring uh, paperwork proof so is that a P45 or an email from, or a letter from, from an employer, a doctor's note, and we're assessing if people are genuine or not. And at the moment, they seem to be. Um, I said all cases less than 3% and they're all, all um, situations are managed. And it's that process that I talk about there is what I mean about management. That's how we are managing it. And like I say, at the moment, it seems to be working very well. Um, we're quite pleased with uh, with the results. And I think 3% voids uh, from, from this situation. And it has to be stressed that they are um, holidays, not, um, not free periods. Um, for example, almost all of the situations we have have been people being furloughed. People have been furloughed on 80%. So they're paying eighty percent of the rent, and they will be catching up the rest. Uh, and that's a that's a standard offer we're making for people who are furloughed. So all tenants know that rent is still due and needs to be paid. We're also signposting tenants to the places they can get financial help, um, and that's uh, that's been well received by by the tenants and the landlords alike. Just so that everybody knows exactly where they they need to go. Essential maintenance is still ongoing. We can, we can, um, you know, if there's a, if there's a, a water leak you know, coming through a ceiling, coming through a roof, it will get fixed. If there's a, a C1 electrical fault, it will get fixed. We've got contractors to uh, to do those. Um, gas safety certificates are normal. Gas safes advice is keep doing them. Uh, we've only got two cases of um, a, a gas safety certificate not being able to done because of self isolation. Uh, under no, normal circumstances, two would be too many. Um, it, we've got a zero toler tolerance on that. It is 100% of gas safety is done. Um, but in these two cases, they'll just be reported to uh, HSE and we will get back in there when when we can. Um, unusual circumstances for sure, but uh, that's the way to manage those. And like I say, all gas safety certificates are being done. Um, maintenance work on empty houses uh, carries on. Uh, for example, at the end of a tenancy, the tenant might, you know, the property might need a tenant to turn a, a refresh, if you like, um, so the property is ready to go back on the market. That is very important to us at the moment. Um, as you might it's always important to us. Uh, but there are a handful of tenants who have vacated mid-tenancy due, due to the virus. Um, gone back home uh, diff to a different country, perhaps, or gone back to live with, some, with parents, um, or to look after parents. Uh, they are mainly still in contract, so they, they shouldn't be leaving. Uh, so we will continue to try and collect the rent, certainly claim the deposit when uh, when applicable. Uh, but our number one priority is getting that property turned and back out on re-rent. And I'm really happy to say we can still do that. You know, we can go in there, do the work, get the place ready to rent, and then um, uh, put it back on the market. We are still renting properties. Brings us on to the next next um, you know, 
good good news point here. Um, almost 100% remotely using video viewings. Uh, we um, uh, are only moving people in if it's essential, but we're also finding that all the people who are looking to move are looking for some very good reasons. It could certainly, they're all gonna be described as essential. We are asking the question, is it essential you move? And um, yeah, it's, it's essential, that's why they're calling. Uh, we moved uh, two nurses in, in the last uh, month. Uh, so after a week of preparing for video viewings, it took quite a lot of time, put a lot, put a lot of key boxes up, took a lot of videos, we only feel like we're 100% set up for video viewings as of now. Um, we're expecting this week to be really busy on, uh, on, on lettings. We've got a massive number of leads to follow up, more than usual. Uh, we're one of the few letting agencies that are set up in this way, so I think we're getting more than our normal fair share of, uh, of demand, which is good. Uh, one bit of frustrating news on the rent and legal insurance. As you know from previous update dates, the product was cancelled for some what we thought was some very good reasons. But in the last update, we reported that the company um, that offers it for us, um, and one other actually, but uh, we, we don't normally use those, but they, they, they brought the product back. And I mentioned that in the last update. Um, and we were all set to roll that out and get doing that on the Monday morning we came back in. Unfortunately, by Tuesday morning, the same company had uh, furloughed all their staff and now they haven't got the manpower to sell the product. Uh, I'm not sure if the two things are connected or not, but we're going to chase that up. Um, we'll keep you posted. A large number of landlords wrote back to us after our last um, video and said that it's something that they'd like to do. So um, if the cover comes back, we'll endeavour to get you on it as quick as possible. Um, if, if it doesn't, then I'm afraid, as of now, it is cancelled. So uh, we will let you know if it comes back. Inspections are obviously on hold, uh, it's non-essential, uh, and as is non-essential maintenance. We've got work silos set up for all of these tasks, so they're not being forgotten, they will be putting work silos and um, they'll be caught up on. We're also putting some funds aside, staff funds, to pay for overtime to catch up on those as well. Um, you might be interested to know, after all, we're you know, key stakeholders in each other's businesses, but um, we aren't, as a business, applying for any uh, emergency government loans or funding. Um, we've got enough cash in the bank. We don't run an overdraft. Well, obviously, we're, not, we're a service business. We don't have stock, so we're on a, a sound financial footing. Uh, we've furloughed some staff, um, but they're all front of house staff and sales staff. Um, there's no work for them to do, but the, the core of what it is that we're doing is... Uh, I suppose simply put, we feel like we're in a holding pattern. It seems stable uh, and the team feel like all business critical areas are under control. Um, it's definitely not business as usual. It's taken a lot of extra effort to get us to this point. Um, and there are some things that we would be normally very concerned about and you know, not doing any inspections for a month would be you know, not, not, not acceptable under no normal circumstances. Um, so we, we, we've got a plan to catch up all these things and I think that's, uh, in the circumstances, the, yeah, the, be the best that we're going to be able to do. So what about the future? I think we should start looking towards the future. Um, really simply, we're gearing up for a massive buying spree. Uh, already the signs are there. You know, we can't do many viewings. Um, we could view a house if there was nobody else in it um, and we've done a few of those, but most of the estate agents are, are closed. Not all. Uh, but we're buying lots of houses. We bought six last week. Uh, we're buying them just by reiterating offers that we've already made, so that's easy enough to do. We've got all the photographs and we just go and literally a phone call or an email, we will still buy that house. Um, as soon as we can get going again, we're gonna be buying as fast as we can because um, we can see that there's a, a big opportunity brewing. Prices are remaining stable at our end, but I think they are going to be rising soon and uh, that's gonna be an interesting conversation. I, I, would, I would expect prices in the broader market, you know, the, the, the more expensive houses, owner-occupied houses, to be falling if we're gonna have a recession. But the houses in the investable stock, um, the, 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 they are you know, the, the kind of stuff we concentrate on, the 50 to 100, 120,000 pound houses, and the HMOs as well. Um, they're gonna see price pressure because already we are getting three, four, five times as many calls from uh, from you, from, from, from our landlords and new landlords 
wanting to invest in uh, in new property. So um, I can see we're going to going to be very busy. Uh, we are recruiting our next franchise partners. Uh, we want to be doing uh, two, one every two months now. We're going to up that. It's, it's, a, it's a process and a, um, to, to get them on boarded. If that's something you're interested in, you need to be a landlord already. Um, working in an area where we're about to work, so broadly speaking from um, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds and, and, and round the motorway network, uh, have a track record and want to get going. So we'd love to hear from you and we're, we're stepping that up because, um, well, we're also compiling lists of landlords with capital in, to invest and we've got, as of, we've only been, we're calling it the queuing system, kind of like, um, Aeroplanes around Heathrow, um, but in the last week and a half, we've got four and a half million pounds worth of um, landlord funds. Not in, but landlords calling us up saying we have these funds. That's a lot of hundred thousand pound houses, and we're going to need franchise partners to help us meet that demand. Right now, personally, um, I'm very comfortable. Um, you yeah, know, there's no there's no crisis in our household, and everything seems to be working very well. And it just reminds me that um, you know I put in the hard work and effort 10, 15 years ago to build a property portfolio, and it's been well, well worth doing that. Um, you know, I don't want to start to sound the wrong note, but there's a very good reason for being a landlord, and it's played out in front of us that uh, it, it, it makes things very safe, safe, stable, secure. It's the kind of thing that uh, I believe more people should do, so uh, we're going to try and help more people to do that. In 2008, I bought a lot of property. We made a lot of money, and um, yeah, 50,000 pound houses that became 100,000 pound houses. Rents that increased from 400 pounds a month to 600 pounds a month in that time. Uh, we recycled capital over and over. I did that. Lots of you guys did that. Lots of our landlords did that. Um, I'm telling you that if this becomes another 2008, um, make sure you're ready for it and um, grab grab your share. Um, be in touch with one of our team to discuss building your empire or at the very least a portfolio review uh, and some advice on how to prepare yourself um, for the opportunity when it arises and I'm, I'm very confident it will. That's it for now. Take care and stay safe.